What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly Op Destroy guys. Yes, Warships is out. The big update did finally come, uh, but there are a few bugs that need to be squashed. Other than that guys, I going forward, once this is all resolved, I believe the game is going to be even greater than it has been before. Warships guys, I believe is going to change it forever. I mean, not going to lie. I love it. People are hyped about it. They love it, but there are just a few little bugs that need to be resolved and then we'll be back in business. But on to other great things, guys. I did spawn global number two. Yes, they also did a ban on a couple of these players up at the top global ranks who were sharing accounts and doing stuff that were prohibiting people from attacking them. Well, after 5,000 clicks, once again, I did take down global number two. I did it in one attack. I got in the first attack and I was barting down a rocket and I'm, for some odd reason, an artillery shell went off and I lost more GBE and I called it a flop because I needed that GBE to smoke, right? So I technically attacked him in two, but the first one was just a missed finger click type thing and I shot off an artillery where I didn't want to. And uh, yeah, and then I had to click again for like another 3,000 times before I got into him the next time and I did the job right, guys. Now, before I show you that, I wanna kinda go over the things with you guys. Now, in the tribe regions, we do have smoke screen energy cost reduction. That is a lifesaver here as well because it did cost me less GBE as far as smoking is concerned. And we know as RZCM players that it takes a lot of smoke sometimes. And so with the cost reduction for the smoke screen, that did actually help a lot actually i think it really was the key to me beating this dude another thing that that i i knew that i could do was to beat this guy was he had two prototype parts on his base he had two shield gens but he was lacking the third which was like what a shock blaster or a you know a, a semo or what have you he didn't have that and i i take it that because of his ban he wasn't able to throw one out so uh, without that, that also helped in my favor as well. But the fact of the matter is he went to pound town. That's all I got to say. So guys, let's take a look here at my log here. Here it is. There is global two right there. There are the two guaranteed crystals for taking down global player number two. And you can see there, I am a three offensive player boosted with a boosted all the way through. So 62% gunboat, 62% uh, troop damage, 70% troop health and 84 gunboat energy going with the RZCM. So let's take a look guys really quick here. I'm going to pause really quick and show you exactly. He is fully boosted seven ice um, and you can see that he is lacking a third prototype part which would probably go between the uh, mortar and the boom cannon here um, other than that guys just let's watch and see exactly what I did here so first order of business is I go after these two rocket launchers up in the top it was a BART job and I think three artillery shells I was able to capture that residence there because it was kissing it it was kissing the rocket and then I sent another barrage and a, a couple artillery shells there one two and then one more to finish it off and I think by this time I had only like 28 GBE left I had 28 GBE left and I'm thinking to myself all right cool what I could do here is probably destroy that boom cannon uh, to get a little bit of GBE back before I flare up and uh, yeah I left a boat of Zookas by accident so I let him out the last moment which kind of kind of st stunk but other than that you guys can see here I do I think I do take out that boom cannon uh, perhaps even that nope I actually did not take it out never mind I was close to taking it out but I pretty much wanted my troops to kind of gather together um, again smokes cheap you guys can see here I left a couple of loop holes here for my troops to kind of get binged up and you can see that little gap there as they're making that corner uh, the flamethrower kind of tagged a few and you can see there oh my gosh my medics did catch up and we were able to secure those zookas uh, so right here all I had enough was for one shock so I figured the rocket was the best way to go here because that would have just killed me uh, the shock launcher was distracted by a couple of those critter boxes uh, I finally I get another critter box out again and I'm um, letting my troops just kind of go throw another shock on that rocket because that would have torn to my zookas uh, the flamethrower does is also in the tribe region too right now guys so that did hurt a little bit but other than that i let my troops just kind of go to town i wanted to hold off on hacking a defense until i got that cannon and mortar taken care of and as soon as i did that yes you guys guessed it right that shock launcher was hacked and that was groovy um 
and uh, got the troops going in here. And once that was down, I hit the hack button, and sure enough, boom, that shock launcher does get targeted, and that was groovy. I throw a shock over here on the, uh, I missed the other shock launcher. I meant to hit that actually shock. You can see behind the edge queue on the left. I was like, dang it, I wanted to get that shock launcher, but I couldn't. And uh, so we're going, the shock launcher is still not down, I'm shocked. But my troops do end up taking it down once it gets out of that uh, that uh, hacking. But then I hack a boom cannon. And what more pleasure is that of hacking a boom cannon, guys? It has a lot of health, does a lot of damage in return. And the shock launcher was poised and struck on the boom cannon, which was great. As you can see that. And then I hack again, folks, and hack the other boom cannon right below the HQ. And it was just groovy. I had a bunch of critters on the HQ. And it, all I had, that boom cannon was going to go to Pound Town. Uh, and because uh, Everspark was actually touching it. And you can see with her zapping execution that she blasted out of portion. And I'm thinking to myself here, I got critters here. Critter keeps coming out. Uh, I got a lot of troops hitting the HQ. The HQ shield gens are down. And I'm thinking, yes, this is it right here. We got this. Global 2 to Pound Town on one attack. Uh, again, you know. Kind of fairly easy without any of that third prototype, but other, nonetheless, uh, guys, he's down, and I got my two guaranteed beautiful green crystals. Doesn't matter. They're going to power powder anyways. But other than that, that is global number two, and now, folks, I have my eyes set on global number one, because if I get global number one, I've taken down three, two, three. And one, I cannot wait. So global number one, please show up someday. I would love to take you to Pound Town. Guys, other than that, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we will see you guys soon again. And uh, keep on booming. Keep on booming those beaches, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.